What's going on guys, Robert Welkner here of CoinUp TV. I got Skylanders Spyros Adventure on the Xbox 360. This is part 11 of a series of commentary tracks and I'm going to do Falling Forest and uh, as you can see I've been um, playing this game, I actually solved it so some of the treasures and the things will be already uh, got, um, received, the goodies. <laughs> and we're going to do some co-op. I got a friend of mine over here who's going to uh, jump to some co-op play with me. Chapter 11, Falling Forest. I'm going to start off as Terrafin and he's playing as Hex. Let's see Those what's happening. Those trolls are attacking the great ancients with teeth machines. Oh, this is the most horrible feeling I have ever had in my brief existence so far. We must stop them from cutting any more down or discovering the eternal life source. All right, find the eternal life source. Cool, so I'm Terrafin. I'm a uh, Earth Element, and uh, my buddy is playing as Hex. Skylanders of the Tech Element are stronger in this zone. So um, as we go through the, the levels there, you'll see that um, some of the items and the goodies I've already discovered. But, you know, we're still going to sort of explore the lands and uh, check things out and try and level our characters up, get some goodies. So Terrafin's got some cool, uh, I think he's got like... To destroy those ghastly tree cutting machines. Get him, Hex. So Hex, if you hold down X on the Xbox controller for a few seconds, these um, skulls will sort of generate. Oh, we have to blow up the generators with the missiles. So Hex, use the uh, the right thumbstick to throw the uh, those missiles at the... Um, you just gotta get a little closer. There you go, I think that's what we're supposed to do. Just go ahead and get all the missiles there. All right, there we go. Objective unlocked, <laughs> received. So once you get rid of those missiles, see if you can missile the door. Cool. Some goodies left over. So uh, yeah, so Hex, once you get rid of those missiles, if you hold down the uh, X on your controller, She'll uh, get these skulls that will sort of energize, and then when they're fully energized, they'll pop down and slam upon any bad guys. And uh, some of the powers that I have as Terrafin is I can press the X and I can go underground like this, and if I go underneath something, it'll blow it up. And then another thing I can do, one of my power-ups, is I can press B, and my little buddies will go underground and like attack people if there's if there's people to attack. So. Uh, something else Hex can do is she has a um, a wall. Teleport up with me there. She's got like a wall. If you press your B on your controller, uh, try and try and see if you can blow shoot the missiles down. Uh, the, the object we gotta like shoot missiles down at all the guys there. See if you can uh, if your missiles will go that far. Which. See the third one. All right, maybe maybe that doesn't work. Are we stuck up here? How do we get off of this thing? <laughs> this is interesting. I wonder if this is like if this is meant to be. All right, I just popped down. All right, what do you say, Hex? You want to go to this way? I didn't hear that. Was that? <laughs> oh no! Come on, Hex, run! I right, just checking to see if there's any goodies over there. 
So guys, I appreciate your Skylanders comments, your feedback, your uh, suggestions. Thanks for watching the videos. And uh, one of the things you guys have been requesting a lot is it was more co-op gameplay. So um, here we are, co-oping. If you get too far on the co-op, this little string will sort of pop up, and see, I kind of see the little string popping up. Ah, oh, there's a chest up there. I'm gonna get it. Oh, you like teleported ahead of me. You almost got it. Let me shake up the chest, see what's in here. Alright, so all chests are found. Cool. Pick up some, we'll share some of the goodies. I mean, I guess I'll get this coin over here. Level's a little funky on the on the co-op. I don't know why I'm not bouncing up there. <laughs> Some of these levels are like better designed for a uh, single player. I'm still kind of getting the hang of tariff in here, but it's kind of cool. When he goes underground, then I can sort of pop up. S smash those dudes. So Hex can sort of do that wall and then she can hide behind it and uh, shoot out her skulls. It's kind of like her her tricky power up. Oh, there's a guy back here shooting at us. Oh, blew up something there. What do you say? You want to go this way, Hex? Uh, your health's a little lower, so you can get that, get the goodies there. There's a magic user up there. Take him out, Hex. Kill that last guy. Shoot the uh, missiles at that X. Good job. So we blew up the uh, tractor with the crazy saw razor blades. Take out this. Oh man, I hurt myself running through the uh, explosive stuff. Hex, come on, take out this bad guy for me, dude. There you go. Well, done. Well, you want to come up here? I'm an earth element, so I unlock that. Alright, let's explore, see what's in here. It's interesting that you're not like running out of the missiles there. I don't know if I've been in here before. This looks kind of new, it's got a puzzle thing. Hex, you want to try the puzzle? Alright, so here's a, here's a tricky thing. You gotta get those, you gotta get the guy, you can turn left or right with the joystick, and um, you gotta get the little green guy to fall across all of those uh, glowing orbs and those little holes that are on the screen he'll fall and sort of continue so hold it down so it rotates either clockwise or counterclockwise and these are kind of like little puzzles if you uh, if you do them in a certain amount of time you get like a little bonus for them I wonder if they'll come out with a little Skylander toy for this guy. I don't know if he's got a, a name or anything. The uh, little green guy. It's kind of 
kind of reminds me of like a, something on a like a iPhone or iTouch there, a little Angry Birds or some something. <laughs> Getting closer. Let me see. Let me give some shout outs to some of you guys giving me some comments while we're doing the puzzle here. Alright, let's see. Shout outs to uh, Revive Dude 109. He left a comment on my Skylanders 101 Eruptor saying that he likes Flame Slinger and Stealth Elf. Uh, I'm always curious to know what you guys um, think of some of the characters. Um, Legacy Awakened on Skylanders Commentary in 09 said, I don't like that you already have completed the chapter, but whatever. Can you play over Xbox Live? I don't think you can play this over Xbox Live. I think it's a local co-op only. Let's see, what are the comments we got here? All right, Spyro the Dragon Boy 200 said on Skylander's Dino Rain trailer that he loves battle mode music that is, suits him well. So I'm sure that's a big Spyro fan right there. What do we got? Four left on the puzzle. Getting closer. Have you guys been playing? Have you guys been playing through this game? What do you guys think of the puzzles? Is there anyone that's really stumped you? There's one that took me about 90 moves to do. I couldn't figure it out myself. And this is, this is we're about halfway through the game now, so the puzzles are getting a little difficult, a little more difficult. Comment from um, Dachayama on uh, commentary five. He says same voice actor that did Zim. I think he's talking about one of the characters, Flynn or Hugo. I don't know if there's a way to exit this. I, I actually got one of the puzzles I got kind of stuck in. And I couldn't figure out how to exit it. Could be it could be you know forever. All right, getting closer. Intense. Three more to go. Two more. Like that Jeopardy intense music. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> So yeah, as far as extra toys and stuff, they should totally come out with like uh, this figure and definitely Eon and Chaos and um, Chaos's little uh, henchman dude. Um, I don't, I forget if they've said his name, but if you guys have been watching that, um, his little goblin dude is, is really cool. I like him a lot too. Sixty moves. Intense. <laughs> the crowd is itching on, waiting. Awaiting victory. I wonder what we'll get for uh, for this little puzzle. Keep going, keep going, that way, yeah. There it is. Keep going. Alright. Clockwise. 
Or actually, that was counterclockwise, right? Sorry. Mm. Well, that's gonna fall in the hole. Okay, yeah. Getting there. Getting closer. the uh, attention to detail on those gears back there. Pretty pretty cool. <laughs> they should have a thing like if you get to 100, like he just, his head just explodes and like pops from, from uh, getting smashed around or something. There it is. Victory! You solved this puzzle. What'd you get? Some goodies? Oh, we opened up a door. Alright, let's see what we get here. That way? <laughs> Smash it down. What is gonna be up here? Oh my gosh. There's like there's like dudes waiting for us. This is interesting. I feel like we're All right, Terrafin, let's level up there. So what did that actually open up? I'm confused, because, you know... Hmm. I wonder if there was something already in here that I got. I guess that's the problem with playing the game twice. I might have already got what's already in here. What do you want to do, Hex? You want to go back up there? <laughs> it's kind of this music kind of sounds more like a Japanese tea garden or something. Hmm. Use the skulls on those guys. I can't get them. Terrafin's a like an earthy land guy, so I'm I'm kind of grounded. But uh, Hex is magic, so she can. She can pop those skulls up there. Hmm. Nothing else up here, huh? Alright, shall we carry on? So, okay, so guys, sorry, there must have already been some book or some skull or some scroll or something in there that I already got my previous time around. But if you guys get stuck on that puzzle and you watch this video, now you know what to do, right? Oh, I was gonna go for that food up there. Oh, we gotta get some missiles for this guy. And now it's showing us where the missiles are. Like a good platformer. You must find rocket. <laughs> To destroy the big chain and Eon, Eon even tells us. <laughs> Run! Run, player two! Oh man, it's like right on my tail. Some goodies back here.
guess we can't jump off the platform there. Is there something... Do you want to see if there's a platform back this way? It looks like there's maybe an extra... something here. Ah! Oh, I know. I guess I'm wrong. I guess we did this already. Sorry. Hex is an undead character. She shouldn't, she shouldn't like, get hurt, right? Should already be dead. <laughs> the Great Stump! Alright, I think we may have found the, uh, the acorn of life. Is that what it was called? Oh no, this doesn't look good. I feel like chaos may be at work here. Foolish portal <laughs> master imposter! Wait, portal imposter! <laughs> I like the sound of that. But you are still doomed! Doom, I tell you! <laughs> Doom! You can't eternal life source! Never! You face my powerful evil life minion! Now I will laugh while it both powerfully and evilly ends yours! <laughs> Go on! Get on with it! Oh, snaps! We got some bad guys coming in, some evil, evil dudes! I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna swap out uh, Terrafin here. For uh, let's use some uh, some whirlwind action. I don't know if I get to put them both on here. So whirlwind's got these cool little uh, rainbow. <laughs> Rainbow launchers, and then uh, just get this little cloud thing. I think it's a she, yeah. And then I, I can also fly, so I'm a little more mobile. Although my... I think, I think we killed her. I, I might need some food there. My health isn't so good, so your health is low too, Hex. Okay, forget the light minion. You won't beat this. Because I, Colonel, summon my unbeatable, <laughs> deadly life spell of death. Oh, snaps. <laughs> Some of these cutscenes are a little interesting. Alright, I don't know what this is, but kill it. There we go. Little snail firecracker things. Pop out. Uh, I see. I think I gotta kill the red thing and then it kills uh, the rest of the little magic stuff. I'll use my little lightning clouds and Hex can shoot her magic. You can dodge a few things you can see. Big deal. What about things you can't? Uh oh. Stealth. Evil stealth elf. So stealth elf can disappear and be stealthy. Pop up behind you. Oh, Hex's health doesn't look so good. If, you get, if any food pops up, you're gonna have to snag it. Oh, we need to we need to swap out. You want to use one of these? Or it's a little easier. There you go. Uh oh, can you stealth elf versus stealth elf with a pirate hat? <laughs> there we go. One hit. We already killed him. I got the pirate hat, you got the... I mean, you got the pirate hat, I got the magic hat. What do you got for us, Chaos? What's next? I have something even more evil in mind. More evil and unbeatable than ever before. I summon my totally unbeatable, deadly evil life spell of Ultimate Death! Oh, uh oh Ultimate Death. It's coming. So Stealth Elf's powers are the um, X will be invisible and she gets stealthy. Uh oh. I guess we just have to avoid the screen here. 
And then if you press uh, B, she'll do kind of like a jump attack thing. Whoa! Ah! I got hit. Let me not fly. Flying might not be good right now. I'm gonna be able to control. This is like Zoom Zumba here. Uh, stealth Elf's life. Getting low. Have to get you some grippies, some food there. Regenerate. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Stump Smash. You see, he should be powerful here, because he's a tree element, right? Ooh, look at that. He's throwing those acorns at me. Oh, they ricochet. Oh, they kind of stun you a bit when they get you. Stealth Elf. What else you got for me there, player two? Who's he going to go with? I can see you can you can move the right stick there to unjoin the game. Flame Slinger in the house. Flame Slinger can make a little wall, a flame wall around guys. If you if you hold down your uh, B and uh, circle around them, or maybe no, hold down your X and do a circle around them. Yeah, try and go all the way around so it touches. Now you've been poisoned. You gotta shake your stick. I see. He seems to like you. Yeah, if you could do like a wall of flame around him. Oh, so close. You gotta be like closer. <laughs> See, these boss battles are pretty tricky, you know? I mean, for the most part, as you guys saw, the level was pretty easy, but once you get to these boss battles. Ugh. So close. Come on, wall of flame that guy. That touch? If you touch, if you touch it, it's supposed to make a wall of flame that like shoots up, like goes crazy. Hey, leveled up, cool. Oh, what's this gonna be? I'm dying to know. <laughs> Level up. Get oh, get that food. Oh. oh no, it's coming in fast. It's intense. I think I might have died. <laughs> what did she say? So there's some bad words. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with Spyro. Good old Spyro here. Spyro's got ramming the ram and then the fire. So ramming is cool because you can like run a little faster. Spyro can also fly. Whoops. Although it looks like my wing, my wing might have got caught there in the in this green orb stuff. So as you guys are probably figuring out, the more Skylanders you have, the easier it is to get through these boss battles because. When a Skylander dies, you can just kind of swap him out with a new face and keep going. I don't think there's a consequence at all to doing that. There are some like achievements and stuff in the game that uh, if you 
can beat a boss with like a certain character or without if you can beat chaos without swapping out in the last fight that's an achievement also oh no it's getting crazier flame slinger's health is going low to get you some food no what do you got for us now chaos Oh no. Flame Slinger. Alright, now we gotta get crazy. Oh, we lost Flame Slinger. Which one's he gonna go with? Uh oh. It comes Wrecking Ball. <laughs> Wrecking Ball's got his little tongue, and uh, and then he has another power where he can. Uh... All right, we got one bad guy down. He leveled up, cool. He's got another power up where he can turn into an invincible ball and bounce around and knock dudes out. Seems like we're having less. So there's the ball. So later on in the game, when you level up Wrecking Ball, you can actually control that. But early on, it's a little ran more randomized. All right, I think we defeated them all three at once there. What do you got for us now, Chaos? So you can concede? Chaos! Well, there it is. We got the eternal life source. Look at this, a little cutscene action. Oh, look at that, I'm flying up like in Tron or something there. Wrecking Ball, I guess you are, you're stuck. Alright, so uh, we didn't get the one of the legendary treasures. But we got all the gems and the hats. I guess I got those before in the scrolls. And you got me uh, one of the chests. So guys, for CoinUp TV, it's uh, Robert Welkner. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the uh, Skylanders videos. And uh, make sure you check out all of them out. There's a whole bunch on my channel. For CoinUp TV, Robert Welkner. We'll see you next time.